Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning October 12th, 2015. Uh, this week I'm going to be using the Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy deck and for the color card I'm going to be using once again the Angel Feather Oracle by Michelle Newton. Um, I know everybody, like, if I don't mention the noise, people are like, what's that noise? If I mention the noise, people are like, stop mentioning the noise. I swear to you, it was completely quiet and peaceful here until I sat down to record the video. They're chopping down trees everywhere. So I know that that's gotta be picking up. It's pretty loud. And he just started. So I was like, nope, I'm here, we're ready to go. So we're gonna tune that out and we're gonna do the reading. <laughs> so if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. So let's soldier on. Let's do this guys, October 12th. I don't have a hit on that week specifically just yet. So let's see what is coming through here. All right. Yeah, still nothing. So, okay. This is interesting because, you know, one of the things, none of this happens for no reason. The guy's chopping down trees. And I remember thinking, like, how many more are they going to chop down? Like, all they've been doing is chopping down the trees. And for no reason. <laughs> um, I don't think the trees are all diseased all at once or anything like that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it kind of disturbed me. I'm like, why are they getting rid of the beautiful trees? <laughs> I mean, they're pulling out bushes. They're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And one of the first cards that popped out is Earth Angel. So this is Gaia kind of... I'll hold this up again here in a second. But I think this is Gaia sort of quietly just watching her children mess up. <laughs> Does that make sense? And remember, Gaia is a soul as well. And she's an ascended soul. So, you know, I think um, the earth kind of has fought back at times, <laughs> but she's, it seems like she's losing out. So, yes, we have Earth Angel here, and I'll read what that message is on the card, but I think there's this huge message here for us to not only be grounded and be connecting with Gaia this week, but start protecting her a little bit more. One of the things that really disturbed me about Colorado Springs they don't have recycling programs. <laughs> they don't. And I mean, I went through a lot of re research. There is this one company that would do it, but I had to jump through all these hoops or drive it really, really far to, you know, drop my stuff off. And you have to like basically call them up ahead of time and let them know you're coming. I mean, like there just aren't enough things out there for us to take care of our earth. Okay. So we need to see what we can do to kind of remedy that, I think. Okay. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and read this card. It's Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. So, yeah, so getting centered with Gaia, okay, she helps you feel good about being in your skin. <laughs> she helps sort of cleanse away all the negativity and helps you get on the right path. So this would be an excellent week for us to be connecting with Archangel Ariel and with the nature angels. So we call them fairies sometimes. Um, so this would be a good time to do that. There's not a whole, now last week we had a huge like boom kind of message and this week is just sort of like, okay, just, whew, just take a breath, <laughs> get out into nature if you can. We've been saying that quite, quite a bit, but it feels like there are, like you have to be an earth angel in a light worker way sense, but you also need to be a light worker to help Gaia. Okay. Because I don't know, things are, things are going on that... <laughs> No one's standing up and stopping it. So let me see if there's anything else on that. See what you can do this week to just any, any kind of activity that you can engage in that could help Mother Earth, even the little tiniest bit, okay? So the second card I pulled, I'm gonna go ahead and read this one as well and then I'll pull the other cards. It's mediumship. <laughs> you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Now, ever since I started this profession, I've thought of mediumship as having a lot of different meanings, okay? And like, I'm sorry, my voice is a little raspy today. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know, the way I personally approach mediumship, I work with the angels. 
and on occasion other beings will come in but typically as i said angels it was 444 on my camera yay um and a lot of times people will get readings from me and they want me to channel their departed loved ones and i will only do that with the permission of the angels if they will bring that person forward so you got to kind of figure out and these people who are like oh i channel everything do you want to open yourself up like that? <laughs> That's a whole lot of different dimensional energies kind of like, you know, coming in and knocking you all askew. And I don't know, you got to be careful with that. But uh, yeah, see what you can do, what you can pick up on. Now, fourth dimensional beings, which would be your departed loved ones, the third and the fourth dimensions have basically kind of collapsed into each other. So it is going to be easier. Yes, it has. <laughs> I love it when people come out and they're like, well, well, I never heard about this. This wasn't, this wasn't on the news. Well, it wouldn't be, would it? <laughs> but it's going to be easier for you to talk to people on the other side if you want to. But the angels are saying you have to be careful with this because it's not always in your best interest to be talking to people on the other side. Either it prolongs your grief or you get muddled messages because you are so deeply in grief that, you know, you can't hear properly what they're trying to say or you're going to hear what you want to hear and that's the other thing too now if you guys want to like do like angel mediumship woohoo all right you're in the right place let's do that <laughs> it's really kind of a cool and easy thing to do because you could just ask the angels to come in and give you signs and then you sit in meditation and just hear whatever messages they want to bring through for you okay so give it a try this week but again you have to be in a very cleansed cleared space and make sure you're shielding yourself from any sort of not so nice entities that might want to come in. Okay, let me move my deck over. We have power animal. <laughs> Look at this trend. It's like, I don't know, like earth angels, so an earthiness, nature angels, um, tuning in and, and trying to talk to people on the other side even, or the angels if you want. So the next card we have is power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So okay, shamanism, yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about it. See, we don't typically talk about that stuff too much here because it's a different frequency, okay? It, it's not bad. It's awesome. I mean, and I love connecting with my power animals as well, but in order to work with angel energy, I'm just in that different energy sometimes. So this will be a week too, while you're getting all grounded and all like earthy and everything, get your Birkenstocks on. <laughs> <laughs> but connect with your power animal, which is a beautiful, oh, I remember one of my most, like, one of the happiest spiritual moments I had was when my, my spirit animals came in. So that's a really beautiful thing as well for you guys to do. So lots of spiritual growth, lots of things, trying new things, maybe trying a different avenue. If you're a shaman already, well, it's your week. <laughs> it's your kind of thing, okay? Oh, what a joyful thing. Okay, so singing and dancing is the final card before we get on to the color card. And it says, express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. That kind of, you know, isn't there like drumming involved with, I'm not a shaman, so I don't really know, but <laughs> I think there's like drumming and chanting and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this is a week to really get grounded. Okay. And yes, you're here to help the earth. So you have to be of the earth. So that's why they're kind of giving you these exercises, I think, to really kind of shake away anything that might have been going on right now. Now, remember, last this is interesting, isn't it? Because last week was very fifth dimensional energy. Yes. And your fifth dimensional self trying to integrate. But I think what this is saying is don't fly away. Don't get all crazy. <laughs> you're still here to be human and you're still here to have a human experience. So embrace that part of you as well. So let's get onto the color card. This is very interesting. And all the while, I'm telling you, there's no mistake, and I'm getting ready to record the November ones here if I can get through it. We'll see. But um, that, that someone has been chopping down a tree throughout this entire message, and what the heck comes up? <laughs> I'll bet you any amount of money, as soon as I'm done recording this, he'll stop doing whatever he's got to do. Or the storm will roll in. There's a storm rolling in, and Gaia will stop him. <laughs> but anyway... Whew, lots of flashes of insight here, huh? Let's get to it. The color card is, ooh, money. Well, that's an earthy thing. I'm down. <laughs> money doesn't grow on trees. Trees, sawing down trees, yeah. Anyway, uh, lime green angel feather is the card. Money is about to manifest. The angels ask that you feel a marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money. So what a great feeling, but also this is about... I'm going to expand this even more. I think this is just material things.
coming to you again we had that archangel Ariel energy coming in so you know I mean this is getting your material life sort of in order and in alignment and now there's a guy right outside my window with, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you he walked right up looked right at me and started chopping down a bush anyway so your material safety your material abundance is coming together this week and I gotta end it there because there is some crazy guy chopping down a bush anyway love you guys take care